Your study of her household gave you a new insight into her potential date of birth, didn't it? And of course, that conversation is so important because there's a a, a big narrative uh, around Catherine being a child bride. Yeah. So would you be able to just talk us through how your research impacted that and your conclusions on a likely date of birth for Catherine? Sure. Um, well, yeah, I mean, it's a relatively recent theory um, that she was born in about 1525, which would have made her 14 or 15 when she married Henry. Um, and crucially, between 11 and 14, when she was involved before her marriage with Henry Mannix and Francis Durham. And I have to say, actually, initially, when I went in to start research, I did think it was 1525. And I spent a very, I thought, well, just for safety's sake, we have to challenge everything. That's mm. the point of this. And, and can I just check, is the reason you thought that because she wasn't mentioned in her step-grandparents' will? Yes, of- I thought the will kind of tidied it up nicely that she she is mentioned in a will from one of her, yes, from a, a elderly relatives, um, she says step-grandparents. Um, uh, her, she's not mentioned in a will written in 1524, but she is in one in 1527. And then I started digging through the wills, spent a, a, more time than an executor with these wills and went through it and looked at the details and realized that that isn't what they, they backed up. I started really looking at sources from people who knew her. And the one source that, that was totally unambiguous about her date of birth was the French ambassador who went on these long hunting weekends mm-hmm. with her, who saw her many times. And he said, oh, well, she was 18 in 1539. He's very clear. He might have been saying, I mean, he's talking about the time around her courtly debut. So that would be sort of tail end 1539, start of 1540. Yeah. And that is not an ambiguous statement. That is very, that's actually much more specific than we have about most of Henry's wives. Whereas his comments about Anne of Cleves are more ambiguous, aren't they? Yeah, he says, I mean, he, people say, oh, he's got her age wrong. He didn't. He just said she looked like she was 30. It's a very unkind comment. but it's He's not- basically saying she looks old, wasn't, yeah, wasn't he? Yeah. He, said he, he, said, he said if he saw her, you would guess 30, um, which is, you know, she was quite a bit younger than that. But no, he his letter on Catherine Howard is, very specific, 18 at the time of the debut. And that dates it to 1522, sort of um, when um, she was born. And the more I looked at the wills, at comments made, and also crucially, the age of all the other girls from a similar background who debuted with her in 1540, they all correlate at about 1522, maybe 1523. So actually the 1525... Uh, date of birth is an understandable mistake, but it is unambiguously a mistake. There is no way that someone who knew her as well as de Marillac knew her said she's 18 when she was 14. That's a, that's too big a gap, a margin of error. Um, and also he was the ambassador. He was being paid to, to send details back to, to Paris. And then when you look at the, the other maids of honour in 1540 and the other details of the will, to me, 1522 is the most likely date of birth. Okay. So that, may, so that again, makes her 19-ish when she marries the king, and it yeah. makes her 21-ish when she right. dies. And, and that's still, people sort of, I mean, you're like, oh, she was so much more mature. I'm like, she's still very young. <laughs> um, but anyway, it does remove the sort of the horror of the child bride scenario. And, and it would be one thing that also um, cropped up for me when I was looking at the wider context was... We have this idea that 14 was sort of considered an acceptable age to, to get married at, but actually there are comments at the time that that, that, that was considered too young mm-hmm. and that there was a chance, bear in mind what your priorities were, there was a chance that, that a 14-year-old wouldn't carry a child to term, which for, for the queen was the priority. Um, there are comments about her being very little, but when you read the full sentence, it's about her build, about that she was very dainty and short. 